Unit 4, Lesson 3, Interpreting Division Situations. Number 1. Write a multiplication equation and a division equation that this diagram could represent. 3 times 18 equals 54, or 18 times 3 equals 54. 54 divided by 18 equals 3, or 54 divided by 3 equals 18. Number 2. Mai has $36 to spend on movie tickets. Each movie ticket costs $4.50. How many tickets can she buy? A. Write a multiplication equation and a division equation to represent this situation. What number times $4.50 equals 36? Or 36 divided by $4.50 equals what amount? Mai can buy 8 movie tickets and 8 times $4.50 equals 36. $36 can buy 8 tickets at $4.50 each. Number 3. Kieran said that this diagram can show the solution to 16 divided by 8 equals what number? Or 16 divided by 2 equals what number, depending on how we think about the equations and the question mark. Explain or show how Karen is correct. 16 divided by 8 equals what number can be thought of as how many groups of 8 are in 16? And 16 divided by 2 equals what number can be looked at as what is in each group of 16 is divided into two equal groups. Number 4. Write a sentence describing a situation that could be represented by the equation 4 divided by 1 third equals what number? A family shared 4 pizzas for dinner. Each person ate 1 and 1 third pizzas. How many people are in the family? Number 5. Noah said, When you divide a number by a second number, the result will always be smaller than the first number. Jada said, I think the result could be larger or smaller, depending on the numbers. Do you agree with Noah or Jada? Show or explain your reasoning. I agree with Jada. One example that explains my reasoning is 10 divided by 5 tenths equals 20. 20 is larger than 10. If a number is divided by a number that is between 0 and 1, the result is always larger than the first number. Number 6. Mini muffins cost $3 per dozen. Andre says, I have $2 so I can afford 8 muffins. Elena says, I want to get 16 muffins so I'll need to pay $4. Do you agree with either, both, or neither of them? Explain your reasoning. I agree with both because $3 divided by a dozen equals 25 cents and $2 divided by 25 cents equals 8 muffins and 16 muffins times 25 cents equals $4. Number 7. A family has a monthly budget of $2,400. How much money is spent on each category? A. 44% is spent on housing. 44 hundredths times 2,400 equals 1,056. So they would spend $1,056 on housing. B. 23% is spent on food. 23 hundredths times 2,400 equals 552 they would spend $552 on food. C. 6% is spent on clothing. 6 hundredths times 2,400 equals 144. They would spend $144 on clothing. D. 17% is spent on transportation. 17 hundredths times 2,400 equals 408 they would spend $408 on transportation. 
E. The rest is put into savings. If you total up 44% plus 23% plus 6% plus 17%, you'd get 90%. That leaves 10% of 2,400 to go into savings. So 1 tenth times 2,400 equals 240. They would put $240 into savings. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 4, Lesson 3, Interpreting Division Situations.